The Love Talk Show on Liberty Radio. Tonight we'll be talking about seven lost virtues in many marriages. Hopefully it's not your case. If so, you realize and you notice. Let's put again, actually let's put for the first time now, please, Pastor Morris. Yes, seven lost virtues in many marriages. All of them very, very important. Mm -hmm. Very important. So, look at that. Pay attention, please. When we talk about marriage, we are talking about we're talking about the base of our society. Because our society exists thanks for family, right? If there was no family, there, there was no society. It's just a matter of intelligence. Uh, I even remember, I don't want to, I don't want to enter in this discussion, but just for a matter of, you know, just a thought. Someone once was asking, you know, a, a, a professor saying, look, what do you have against, you know, gay people? He said, no, I have absolutely nothing, against, you know, against gay people. So, but you all, all, all always criticize. No, I'm not criticizing. I'm defending that a society is based on family. He said, okay, but why a society cannot be based on, on gay principle? He said, so look, because men with men cannot reproduce. Women, no, woman and woman cannot reproduce. So if there is no reproduction, reproduction, so there is no society. So the human race would be extincted, right? Mm -hmm. So again, please don't get me wrong. You know, we are not raising, you know, any calls here against these or that, but just a thought for you to understand why we are, you know, uh, uh, being so, uh, uh, how can I say, so uh, uh, convict about that, you know, that society is based on family, right? So marriage for a marriage to be successful you have to make sure that these virtues of course there are more than seven mm -hmm. virtues that must be present in a marriage but these seven we can see nowadays that they are being left behind people they're ignoring them thinking that you know uh, they can live the life they want and with that of course they're paying a high price right yeah right so the first one is kindness yes the first virtue that we can see there being lost is kindness oh as the, the the word itself says kindness is about being being kind you know it is is about you know uh, you you be always ready to help right yeah. it's, it's really necessary that yeah to be kind and it's like to if you ask something, you use please, mm -hmm. you use thank you, mm -hmm. you do something for your partner. Those magic yeah. words. He doubt he ask for you are yeah. there, ready to, yeah. to do, ready to, mm -hmm. to please. Because mm -hmm. as we, as you were saying, Karina, in in any other relationship, we must be kind, mm -hmm. even even in those moments that we don't want to, yeah, right? Of course. How many times, how many times, you know, when you were with people that they are not related to us, for example, that in your workplace, uh, uh, on the streets, and, you know, someone, I don't know, for some reason, do something that upset you. But what we can see, you know, is people you know, opening his smile, saying, oh, that's okay, no worries. But in, in house, perhaps with the, those that they are supposed to be kind or kinder, they react in a different way. Mm -hmm. You know, they make a storm in a in a teapot, right? Yeah, they don't have That's patience. the expression, Pastor Morris. <laughs> a teacup, yeah. They a are storm not patients. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So kindness is the first one. The second one is benevolence. Yes, benevolence. Uh, uh, is also related to being kind, but also to be to be helpful. You know, to be helpful to those who, especially to your spouse. Uh, you know, uh, it's when you when you do something, when you do something, for example, because you see that they they are in need. But how many times, you know, mm -hmm. the little things they are not they are not being benevolent. For example, oh, could you could you please, you know, do me this or that? Small favors, you know, daily favors. And that probably if they would uh, hear that from their bosses, 
from you know uh, in authority mm -hmm. as we can as we know we have many people watching us that they are you know uh, from the church so many youth is for example if you if you hear your pastor saying oh, could you please help me to clean the toilets could you please help me to you know to mop the church they would say yes pastor let's do it right now and they show you know that willingness disposition to help but perhaps at home they will have a different reaction mm -hmm. they are not being benevolent they're not being helpful they are not showing this the same spirit yeah exactly because ben benevolence is you have to just should do it doubt that your partner ask for mm -hmm. for example you see uh he's for example your husband arriving home and then he's tired and then you are there you prepare his shower yeah you... actually this one is related to to the next one the next one yes this courtesy okay when you do something you know without the other being expected and now that example that you you mentioned before Karina you know it fits really well for example when your husband you know mm -hmm. you know get home really tired get home tired and then you are your wife you go there prepare everything to him prepare a nice shower prepare a cup of tea yeah <laughs> with, with without the need of him asking yes, for that this is very important and you also husband for example if you know that your wife you know had a long a tough day a rough day instead of you okay you, you for example you got home a bit early you know earlier than her so you could you could do something oh you know what let me let me take the, the bin out let me you know do the dishes you know yeah. these simple things let me prepare the dinner yeah you know <laughs> Why not? yeah exactly you know simple <laughs> gestures of courtesy the next one civility as we said before civility uh, uh marriage is 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 the beginning of society is the base of society you know uh, uh what makes society be the way we know today is this is marriage mm -hmm. so you know what what you need to live in society to be you know a good a good a citizen uh you need you need to fulfill your roles you have to you know to make sure that you will fulfill your duties right because you as as a a citizen of this of your city of your country you have laws that you have to observe right in a marriage also there are certain laws that must be observed like faithfulness kindness or you know these mm -hmm. that we are mentioning so civility is this is 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 the the the, the awareness of the rules rules that perhaps they they don't need even to be mentioned mm -hmm. you know you don't need for example to hear you, for example if i ask you what is the law that says that kill someone or murder is wrong probably you don't know the article you don't know the paragraph you don't know the you know exactly where that you know is there in the the laws here in the british laws or you know wherever you are watching us from but you already know that's wrong so there are certain things in marriage that even these things that they are never, you know, uh, they were never agreed before, but, mm -hmm. you know, they are quite obvious. So this sense of civility is also really important. The next one, attention. Yes, mm. is, is, the, is the willingness to, you know, leave your mobile, you know, behind, yeah. to turn off the telly, you know, the computer and pay some attention to your spouse yeah, pay attention to your partner yeah. look in his eyes in her eyes <laughs> talk mm -hmm. look to because what happened they are couples they talking but they talk looking for mobile yeah yeah <laughs> so they don't really really pay attention yeah they just uh-huh yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah it's true it can be but they mm -hmm. are not pay attention next one please pastor morris graciousness as you can see graciousness is related to the word grace and mm -hmm. what is grace grace is mercy you know many many people in marriage Korean they are not being merciful you know mm -hmm. but mercy or, or graciousness is something that also has been lost in many in many uh, uh, marriages you know what what is yeah. mercy mm -hmm. mercy is is the ability is is it is a kind of sacrifice as well it is, it's not a kind it is it is a sacrifice and, and you know this is so strong that jesus said that those he said blessed are the mercifuls because they will find mercy and all of us all of us 
we will need mercy. You know what is mercy? Mercy is that, you know, forgiveness that you didn't deserve. Let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, when your husband, when your wife, they made a mistake, something that really upset you. And, you know, it's not because I'm not talking about, you know, a, a problem of character, but little things, things that you can, you know, you know, uh, uh, make a blind, uh, 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 what's the name? Uh, a blind eye. Turn a blind eye. You know, something that you can do that, but perhaps you, 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 you you are there, you know, doing the devil's mm -hmm. work, accusing, picking, showing, you know, putting that in the the the, the, the spotlight, mm -hmm. you know, bringing to the evidence that's a little thing. You know what you have to do? Be merciful. Be merciful. You know why? Let me talk to you here. You know why you have to be merciful. Let me teach you something. If you are merciful today, you can be sure that tomorrow you will also need mercy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you are being merciful today, the day you need mercy, you will find. But if you are not being merciful today, the day you need mercy, and believe me, this day will come. The day you need mercy, you will not find it. So if you want an advice from this friend of yours, be merciful. <laughs> right. And the last one, the last lost virtue in many marriages, consideration. Consideration, yes is the ability to take into consideration, you know, things that also is related to the to the, the before one, you know, graciousness and mercy. <clears throat> for example, uh, let's say, for instance, you know, the wife that wants to, to talk, wants to express the husband that perhaps is really, you know, that weakened. He's really, you know, excited to go out to this and that. And perhaps your wife is a bit tired. Oh, 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 Karina, we can even go deeper. You know, as we are talking about marriage here, uh, uh, husbands that sometimes they, they know or they, don't, they didn't know that the wives they are in those days and they want, you know, to, you know, to, 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 to have a lovely night and they don't take this into consideration. Mm -hmm. They will make you no know, scene of that. They were even, you know, uh, doing ridiculous things. So taking into her in exactly. To the so take into yeah. consideration, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is also being merciful. For example, if your husband is tired and you were may, maybe the weekend came and you you were really, you know, making your plans to go out to visit mm -hmm. your family, but you saw your husband working hard the whole week. And you look at him and you say, oh, you know, let me take in consideration everything that he's doing for his family, for this family. And let me, let me, you know, help me him out a little bit this, this time. The Love Talk Show on Liberty Radio 105.5.